So with a chaotic day, both inside and outside the state house in Lansing, protesters demanding the state open back up for business as legislators say they are going to let the state of emergency expire at midnight. Some of those protesters even managed to get inside the gallery of the House chamber, some of them with guns. So let's uh, get right to Rod Maloney here as we come to you at 5 o'clock. Uh, Rod is live in Lansing. The legislature basically acted by not acting here, Rod. Right, it was a busy day, Devin. They did a lot, but the one thing they didn't do was the one thing the governor wanted them to do, which was to extend the deadline. The rally started about 9 a.m., and even in a driving rain, it remained loud and sometimes angry. Yes, there were gun-toting protesters mingling among them. That happens fairly regularly here. The main theme, of course, was to demand the governor loosen the stay-at-home order and also wanted the legislature's ear. Heather Carr of Troy wants to end the working from home. It seems to be overreaching, and I think that the statistics have shown that the curve is now going down, and we need to make some concessions at this point, let people go back to work. Then the protest moved indoors, protesters wanting to get onto the House floor. Michigan State Police and House Sergeant Arms blocked the doors. The House went about its business, approved Senate bills limiting the governor's emergency powers. She says she's going to veto. Then the House codified executive orders that were already in place in a law preventing any disruptions, but adjourned without taking up the extension. House Speaker Lee Chatfield says the next stop may be a courtroom. We believe the law is very clear on this, and that's why every extension since 1976 has come through legislative approval, because that's what the law requires. We follow the law today. We want to partner with the governor next week. We don't want this to have to go to court, but should she reject our invitation, that's where we're going. So the House has gone home for the weekend. Uh, many of the protesters have gone too, but the Senate remains in session. Uh, they've been behind closed doors most of the afternoon. We've been told to expect a statement from a very uh, angry uh, Senate Majority Leader, uh, Shirky, um, but he hasn't spoken yet. So we're waiting to hear that, and we'll certainly bring that to you at 6 o'clock if it comes before then. So. Uh, that's the way it's been out here today. Back to you. Uh, we we getting any word from the governor's office yesterday, Rod? Um, you know, uh, Devin, no. I, I've reached out to them a number of times today, uh, and I suspect that she's probably going to say what she has to say tomorrow. She's been doing her press conferences, um, usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right. and we're expecting that she'll say something tomorrow, but so far today, we've heard nothing. Yeah, and yesterday she basically made it clear she didn't think she needed uh, any legislative approval. We'll see what mm -hmm. she has to say tomorrow. All right, Rod. Kim.